Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mission San Antonio de Padua. I come over closer to the right and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line up, straight line across. I go back to the dot and I draw a straight diagonal down on the left, go back to the dot, straight diagonal down on the right. Come back to the top on the left and I'm just going to draw some curved lines all the way down, around, and back up. Starting on the right, I draw curved lines all the way down, around, and going back up to the top. Next, I'm going to start on the left hand side and I'm just going to draw a really long straight line, straight line cross. Starting at the bottom of that straight line, I draw a curved line to the left, come back, curved line to the right. Come back to the left, draw a little curve line out on the left and a little curve line out on the right. Come back to the left and draw a curve line down on the left and a curve line down on the right. Straight line out on the left, straight line out on the right. Curve line on the left, curve line on the left, curve line on the right, little curve line on the right. Come back to the left and let's draw a straight line all the way across, connect. Come up to the very top of that section and draw one, two straight lines. And right here we're going to draw a straight line up, curve line over, straight line, connect. I'm going to put little tiny straight lines all the way around. And now I'm going to connect those with another little straight line all the way down. Inside I draw a straight line and a triangle. Okay? Now below I'm going to draw straight line, straight line, straight line connect and I'm going to put little straight lines going across the bottom. I come up to the top and I draw one, two straight lines, jump over, one, two straight lines. Right about here, I'm going to draw another straight line all the way over and stop. I come on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, straight line connect on the left, and a straight line out, straight line down, straight line over, connect on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a little straight line, straight line rectangle. Come on the right, little straight line, little straight line, little straight line rectangle. Come back to the left, <clears throat> excuse me, curve line on the left, curve line on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. On the right hand side, straight line down, straight line over, straight line up, connect. Inside, I draw a straight line, curve line, straight line, connect on the left, straight line, curve line, straight line on the right. I'm going to draw, if I can, those little straight lines all the way around and connect them with another little straight line. Keep going on the left, and now I'm going to do the same on the right. Little straight lines all the way around, little straight lines connect on the right. I come right down below and I'm going to draw little straight lines going across on the left and little straight lines going across on the right. I come inside and I draw a straight line triangle on the left, straight line triangle on the right. Now I come down to the left and I draw a straight line down on the left straight line over, straight line up, connect on the right. In the center, big straight line, curve line, straight line, connect 
in the center, smaller straight line curve line on the right, smaller straight line curve line on the left. Now I'm going to mimic those lines, draw them again if you can fit them in. So straight lines, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, connect. Now if you have room, you put one, two straight lines connecting, one, two straight lines connecting, one, two straight lines connecting, one, two straight lines connecting. Now I come back to the left and I'm going to draw some skinny rectangles. Have them come out a little bit more. Skinny rectangle. One more if you can fit it in. Okay? On the right hand side, right about here, just draw me a straight diagonal down. And right here, a straight line over connect. Okay. Now I come back and over here on the left, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down, little straight diagonal out, straight line up, straight line connect. On the top I draw curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. And on the bottom, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, connect. Now, right about here, midpoint, I draw a straight line all the way across. And I come back in and I draw a curve line all the way from left to right. Keep going, keep going, connect. Now I come down to the bottom on the left and I draw a straight line all the way across, connect. And inside, starting here, I'm going to draw one straight line, curve line, two, straight line, curve line, three, straight line, curve line. And I'm going to mimic those again. Draw me a straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, connect. I'm going to draw my two straight lines again out, connect, one, two, connect, one, two, connect, one, two, connect. Okay. I come back up to this section and I'm just going to draw curved lines to fill it in all the way across and on the top part on the left curve lines going across and curve lines again filling in keep going all the way across can even add I think one more in between the ones we just drew all the way across. I think I can even do one more up here. Now, once you've done that, you need to draw straight lines wherever there's a point or a section going towards the left to the right. Now these are all tiles, so this is going to take a while, so you can pause the video while you fill in all these straight lines, but these need to be filled in all the way across. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now the same thing that happens with drawing the lines is when we color, you got to color in all these little spaces. So this mission is definitely labor intensive. Okay, now the main part of it is made out of bricks. So we're going to just draw some straight lines down here at the bottom and fill in some little perpendicular brick lines if you can. If you can't, it's okay. Straight lines, straight lines, straight lines. Now there's not a lot of vegetation but there is some circular little parts so I'm just going to draw wavy lines, wavy lines, wavy lines, wavy lines on the bottom. Let's see if I've done everything. Now what's interesting about this mission is that it is a bell tower colonnade behind the mission. So I'm looking at this and I'm going, hey, this should be a little bit longer. So all I'm going to do is draw another line and bring down my curved lines. Okay, I think we're ready to color. Yes, let's see what happens. Okay, like I said, all of these tiles all of these little curved lines, these all need to be colored in. I'm using brown, a mahogany, but you can use brown. 
go ahead and color all of these little lines. It takes, a, I mean, these spaces. It takes a while, but such is life. Okay, all the way. This is all roof, tile roof over here also. Okay, now the color of this mission is kind of pinky rose, so I double colored. First I put a layer of apricot or a light peach on all of the building parts, which is all these sections. And then over it, I took, this is also building, sorry. And then over that, I put pink to kind of give it a little rosy color. Okay, so this should all be colored a little pinky. Okay. The archways, I did brown. So these are all brown. These archways, I did brown. Okay. My steps, I did just apricot, this section down here. Okay. My bells are these little triangles. I did these green. Okay. I used my black to do the little fence part right in front of the bell tower. These little sections I did black. And on the bottom. First I did a light green on the little circular parts. And then I double colored with a darker green around the edges. Okay? Now, because it's so intense, I just kept a real light blue for the background. Really, the toughest part on this mission is doing all the little tile roofs and making sure you've got all of the bell colonnade and the mission all drawn, which I think I did. Okay, let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's Mission San Antonio de Padua all colored in. And um, like I said, it's kind of complicated, so take your time. You got to remember, you're doing two facades. You're doing the bell colonnade up front, and then you're doing the actual mission building in the back. Okay, bye bye.